so I'm meeting Jyoti Dhavle, an HIV activist. So she's waiting for me. I'm meeting her after seven years. Let's see our, her expressions. There you go. <laughs> This one though, the red ribbon is for um, red ribbon. Red ribbon. What, what do you exactly call it for? Prevention red or red uh, protection? What do you call it? Red ribbon. HIV ribbon. HIV ribbon. Bolte. Anna, isko reason to hoga na, wo ribbon kyu dalte honge? Ye isko. Ah, red ribbon. Nee, aaja kuch khas hai. This is lotus and this is butterfly. Ha, I'm going to tell you the meaning of the butterfly. I'm searching it in Facebook. Okay. I'll explain everything there. Jyoti, Dhavle. Ek hi tattoo hai ki aur bhi lagai? Uh, Only uh, one tattoo? Uh, hmm. You know, uh, I want to break the myth hmm. that uh, these people used to tell me you cannot tattoo. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So what exactly happened is just because I'm a child, I'm a child because I want to tell them that you can tattoo. There is mm. nothing wrong in tattooing. This mm. is not fresh. Right. So I went to a tattoo artist. He was like, uh, I'll disclose my thing to him. He said, no problem, ma'am. Everything will be okay. This is not good. Imagine a small tongue. Mm. He said, we have a disposable needle. So we will tattoo it and dispose it. Okay. So they don't do it on you and you. Mm. They hit it on everybody. Okay. So it is like very very safe and this cost me like 7,000. 7,000? Oh yeah, yeah. Because of the color, because color, of the yeah. tie. Yeah, the size. And, and uh, this is the butterfly. Mm -hmm. So the butterfly needs resurrection. Okay. Or change, hope, life. Mm -hmm. So it is a powerful representation of transformation. Mm -hmm. In life, that means imagine the ugly cocoon, the butterfly, mm -hmm. ugly, so ugly, and then it comes out as a caterpillar, mm -hmm. and then it turns into a beautiful butterfly. So, this is it. So, this depicts my life. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, when I was first detected and child birthday, I felt so lucky, so alone. The trauma. Grief of being a child because demand and the stigma of racism from the society had made a, had made me cocoon myself up, bottom my emotion, hide from the world. So for five long years until I decided that this is not the way to live because how long can I be hiding myself? So I came I mean, I decided that um, I need to live life as a soldier's daughter because I'm the officer's daughter. So what I did was I started to transition just like this. I started to transition slowly emerging in my glory, growing wings and being beautiful again to be loved accepted and to be respected. This is the story of this. Yeah. Now come to this part. The lotus. Lotus. Okay. Lotus is a symbol of purity. Hmm. It is a symbol of hope. So lotus is also the symbol of enlightenment. Okay. So in Buddhism, Buddha and lotus tattoo are considered to be disrespectful. In Buddhism, the tattoo is okay. not allowed. So, so, but here, whenever I look at my arm, I get a new burst of energy which always reminds me how far I come. The world is a hard place to live in. The scars, this scars yeah. on my arm, always say a lot about the kind of the world I have lived in, the kind of people I have dealt with, some good, some bad. Similarly, just like the root of the lotus, it grows in muddy water. It is one of the most beautiful flowers that is given to the God. So, 
my life to have been like that with all that that happened in my life i was uh, full of evil hatred resentment anger but then through the dark time and people who helped me rise through all uh, and bloom into a beautiful flower just like lotus it blossom it grows through mud and dirty pond water that is my soul i want to show you something now